Hi everybody, welcome to All Natural Cam. I'm Cam and today we're here to talk about the Virgo full moon that's coming up. Okay, so the Virgo full moon, the worm moon, um, is at 19 degrees and it starts on March 9th. And I think we all have been feeling it. Well, mo yes, we all have been feeling it, honestly. Earth has taken over for like the last two weeks and it's getting stronger the closer that we get to the Virgo full moon. It, I was trying to figure out why have I been so tired and so sleepy? I've been trying to drop projects, but I've just been feeling so heavy. And then I thought about it of like the Virgo and I just felt so much earth. And you know, being an um, air sign, I'm not really into being grounded, even though we all should be grounded. This is the time to ground yourself and to uh, finally be um, decisive and clear on your goals. But I've been really feeling it. I feel like, um, well, I haven't feel like, but the earth, the earth, the air, air signs have been feeling it and fire has been feeling it. Water has been trying to escape it because, I mean, earth kind of, you know, it grounds everybody. And earth, water being so free flowing, earth, air being so, you know, airy, and then fire with their passion. Everybody's just feeling so sluggish and just, oh, like, you know, I know I have. I've been trying to drop this video all week, literally. But. Um, I got some notes here. Y'all know how I roll, especially with all this earth. I got some notes here. Um, just doing a quick little meditative session. I wrote down some bullet points. So yesterday I was feeling Virgo heavy. Okay. I was feeling so much Virgo and a lot of people said it too. Um, even Shanetta. I love Shanetta. You guys should go check her out. She's a YouTuber. I'm, I'm going to put like link one of her videos below so you can watch her recent video because she's been feeling exactly what I've been feeling just heavy and just tired and just ugh. but yeah um yesterday I felt Virgo today it was a lot of heavy Taurus but Taurus are really passive aggressive and they push a lot so then in came the Virgo moons like Virgo is just really going crazy right now but you know Virgo's coming up and it's coming up um opposing the sun which is a sister sign right now Pisces so that's just it's dream versus reality right now, you know? Um, let's see. A Saturn retrograde is also coming up, and I feel like that's affecting us all. Like, little do we know. Like, Saturn, um, this shadow period comes a little bit before uh, Mercury. So, beware of Saturn retrograde, okay? The lessons that you have not learned, it's going to come back to bite you in the butt. Talking about now, though, um you reap what you sow so i feel like a lot of people are getting back uh are starting to get back a lot of things that they have sold from like 2019 so uh right now you're like it's the start of reaping the rewards of what you've done because i've been hearing the term um uh their like their action you can't control their action but you can control your reaction so everything that you have acted on or reacted to whatever you've done good or bad karma is coming back you know so and now is the time it's really like setting in stone and coming back um yeah i've been a lot of saturn karma now's the time for grounding planning um beware of chaos obsession stubbornness and denial um earth signs are very stubborn so you will feel very stubborn in a lot of things but um pisces season is now that we're really into Pisces season is kicking off um a spiritual involvement like you like last month and the month before ever since 2020 started really you've been feeling um something forcing you to evolve or you're going to just devolve and stay in the same place and go crazy but um you've been feeling a force to like evolve and face your stuff and face your shadow self and things like that so right now is more of a spiritual battle on the inside so um also this um this full moon is going to be supported by mars jupiter saturn and pluto that's all in capricorn that's why oh uh, you know some more earth that's why we're all feeling earth you know so <laughs> it's a lot of earth things happening right now because we already said capricorn was going to hit us hard in 2020 this is the year of capricorn dang near but um like with virgo full moon with the pisces just try not to overthink things, okay? Um, the moon is going to be in conjunction with Neptune, which is in its native planet, Pisces. A lot of dream versus reality, but at the same time, you can use this energy, energy, ugh. you can use this energy to focus on your goals because you can see them so clear because of Pisces, um, 
a Pisces can see his dream so clear. So you can see your dream so clear. So now is your time since you are being grounded right now to practically plan your uh, dreams because before you had all these options I'm sure like it was a whole lot of options but now you're actually like narrowing down what's actually important to you and you should write that out it should I mean like you have all these options right here but now it's the time to pick what's important and focus on that so you can take off into the rest of it airy season so airy season is another one but yeah airy season is gonna be whoo but yeah um watch your nerves because virgo anything is if it affects the nerve having a virgo placement period affects the nerves especially the stomach my stomach has been feeling this watch your health watch your diet exercise i feel like um i feel like wellness and health and stuff right now is really important especially for this virgo full moon watch what you eat be healthy yeah watch what you eat be healthy uh, watch your health just watch your health right now watch your nerves as well anxiety you know mental health and physical health all helps okay um check the earth placements in your chart i'm saying check the earth placements in your chart because all our earth is going off right now so if you have any earth placements in your chart you could be feeling like all the conflicting things happening and you could be feeling the effects and everything so just check the earth placement in your chart if you need a birth chart reading i will put a link down below um i have fiverr now so you can just um get a quick reading from me through fiverr or you can add me on social media and we can do it through there i am very um i compromise so you know <laughs> yeah also um yeah if you i put my paypal down below as well so and my email so all of that is going to be in the description if you want a birth chart reading to know how this specifically will affect you because yeah each each placement is different each everybody is different so that's how i really read the energy so yeah um a lot of things coming into perspective i just said that narrowing down your goals um looking what's really important to you and what you want to achieve now and things not like now but what you feel like is more important to focus on now because you're going to be focused on this goal and i feel like a lot of us will achieve our goal so force you to realize that you cannot you can uh, okay let me try it again okay <laughs> force you to realize that you cannot uh control your environment you can only control uh control your reaction because earth placements can be very controlling so uh pisces is showing you because pisces is very go with the flow so pisces is basically showing you can't control your environment but you can control your reaction so like i said earlier their action your reaction it's all about your reaction it's not even about them because everything that they're doing is literally about them it's a, a conflict within themselves so just um focus on controlling your reaction evolving yourself within this is like i said it's inner work happening right now um so much capricorn is happening right now um and i like so much capricorn is happening right now capricorn is a very interesting sign being at the beginning of the eat being at the beginning of the year it's very powerful and um also an evolved capricorn has a very high vibration very high so right now literally the planets are trying to force you up like they're trying to force you out of that uh cycle breaking cycles cycles are broken right now are being broken right now or the cycles that was 2019 um you can see that they're being broken right now like everything's kind of lifting if you let it go because you know full mo full moons are about completion and breaking cycles and breaking bad habits and things like that so right now herb don't play no game so they will force you you know saturn don't play Ver like they just don't play so yeah um and we all know mercury don't play with this mercury uh retrograde so this mercury retrograde hasn't been like i said it hasn't been that bad it hasn't been that bad for me i know that it's been bad for some mostly fire signs i see but it has not been bad for me because i'm still learning a lot about myself and this is what this time is teaching you to learn a lot about yourself and to get to know yourself get to know your goals dreams what you're aiming towards things like that so yeah um let's see anything else interesting venus is um in taurus that was interesting to me because venus entered taurus march 4th 
so uh beware of possessiveness um but also right because venus is in taurus and now like virgo is like coming up and earth is heavy everybody's looking for security stability they're looking for uh they're putting value in things and pisces is influencing them to put value in things that actually matter so everybody like i said i f this should be focused more towards business i don't think this is the year for love i feel like this should be focused more towards business it'll be more prosperous because of the heavy capricorn um some people can't focus it towards love. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just saying that I feel like this is more focused towards your goals, your business, yourself. Capricorn heavy this year is focused on yourself, focused on your brand, focused on uh, generational wealth, focused on that. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, business is going to get real. So, uh, with the heavy Capricorn business is getting really real um a lot of ups and downs could be happening in your businesses if you're starting a business if um if you want to start a business if you are if you already have a business this is going to be a lot of ups and downs because that's you know that's what being an entrepreneur is so yeah not saying it's going to be bad or nothing it's just going to be my eye is twitching like crazy y'all stop talking stop talking what do you want? Um, yeah, don't overthink things because, you know, Virgo has a tendency to obsess. We all know that Virgo also, like I say, well, I personally think that Virgos are the most emotional of the earth signs and earth signs don't handle emotion well, but Virgos are the most emotional to me being, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I feel like, uh, make sure you do some grounding things spend a lot of time in nature nature is really important right now as well nature um is just one of especially if you have heavy earth in your chart because you're going to be feeling off if you do not uh be in nature like i literally had to take like three four mile walks just to feel okay and just to feel straight um creativity could feel like it's blocked right now but is not necessarily blocked it's more so slowing down because that's kind of earth times take their time they're very patient fire signs aren't very patient that's why they're frustrated right now but yeah so um after the virgo full moon though you know you feel the effects of a full moon three days before three days after if you're spiritual like myself you get you feel it sometimes way before because i was feeling this last week but whatever but <laughs> yeah um yeah so, yeah, set your intentions, close out cycles, close, stop, like, anything that does not serve you financially, you have to look towards your own health. Look towards your health, your mental health, spiritual health, things like that. The sister signs are opposing, so. But, yeah, I'm going to do a quick little draw for um, this full moon. Um, the decks I use will be in the description below. Feel free to check them out. Buy some decks. Let's see. I'm going to use my good old fashioned. Uh-oh. The soon, um, as soon as I opened the deck, I was flashed with the towers. A lot of realizations coming in, but I feel like it's good realizations of what's important. Not, uh, things. Earth signs don't like to really be in their feelings. They push emotions. So yeah it's making you face a, like it's pisces season is so dreamy and so flowing so it's making you face a lot of things that um it's pisces it okay it's making you look at the realistic side of your dream i don't know if i said that but it's making you look at the realistic side like yeah this is your dream but is that the right guy or or girl or is that the right way to go about the plan and stuff like that so also, I felt a lot of jealousy. Earth signs have a thing with jealousy. I'm not not saying that y'all jealous, like super jealous or nothing. Yeah, I am saying that. Like, we all know Tauruses have a rep for it. But earth signs all have a thing for jealousy. And, you know, so losers and stuff like that. Beware of jealousy. Haters, people who won't come to terms with themselves, with what hurt them in their childhood and things like that. So, you're going to be coming to terms with a lot of um things. It's not bad at all. Nothing will make you mad. But once you come to terms, 
with what exactly has been holding you back or like a, like a realistic view of your dreams, then you are, the creativity is actually going to come in and you can work towards that one goal. Okay, I dropped half the deck. Less card spirit, please. But clarity, clarity sweeps in. <laughs> Less cards. Karma is so heavy in 2020. Like, I'm a, you probably hear me say karma every time I'm doing like a planet energy reading. You'll probably hear me saying karma. I wonder what's the Earth's birth chart. I will look it up. Because, you know, the Earth is a person too. It's not necessarily a person, but it's definitely a living being. You're moving away from a lot of hurt too. Let's see. You're going with what's exactly for you you're going you're going oh my bad i don't know if you hear me <laughs> okay but yeah you're going towards exactly what's for you what you shine in what you're the star in you're healing okay you're healing and you're using the wisdom like i said watch out for haters 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 please do because earth can bring that a lot out in people like this uh, too much jealousy jealousy is an emotion it's illogical <laughs> It's illogical. It's mostly conflict within, like I said, people who choosing not to evolve, evolve, and people who are choosing to um, stay hurt, keep carrying that hurt away, that betrayal, or they betray you and they're mad at you for it, things like that. It's crazy things, crazy. <laughs> Let's see realizations. A lot of realizations of betrayals you didn't see. Of a lot of betrayals you didn't see. Let's see. I feel like people who have like who are reaping what they sowed for some reason like this uh crown is sticking out to me. Like so much heavy Capricorn. Um Capricorn are really focused on an image. Um, so some people's images could be boosting up right now and some people's images could be literally crumbling. Like the, the image you thought you had of yourself or your reputation and stuff like that. Cause Capricorns really care about reputation. It's just crumbling or you're building a new one and, and you like the one you're building. It's, it's one or the other. So let's see. A time for healing. Yes, it's a time for healing. Because after these realizations, they're not that bad. Like I said, Pisces season, Pisces love, they're beautiful. They are. They're nice. Mm -hmm. They're not nice. They're stern, but they're nice. And de they're delivery. So they're just like letting you know subtle things that you didn't know before. Or, you know, letting you um, see certain things. Because, I mean, this heavy earth is like so harsh and they're just like actually let's just like deliver it this way or deliver it in their dreams and stuff like that so let's see a personal issue reaches resolution so like i said you're like it's a it's about you it's about conflict within internal conflict so and last card, what do you need to release? Full moons, breaking cycles. Waning moon. Yeah. Don't let your pride get in the way. Okay. But, yeah. Now is the time to be decisive. Make a decision. Make a decision. This was your underlying energy, your underlying card. You need to make a decision, sweetie. A decision to um, move forward from this because you don't want to be added to the haters pile because you don't like to move forward because once you carry that hurt you become bitter and once you're bitter who wants to hang around a bitter person you know so <laughs> I'm playing but yeah this is just this is the time to release reflect um, write down your intentions your goals and and be very specific now this is the time for focusing on that one goal that you truly like you truly want you know what i'm saying so now th i suggest uh scripting i suggest writing down all of your feelings all your goals you'll be surprised what you see and also um write down your fears what you're afraid of so you know what exactly to let go because now is the time fears are coming up and you didn't even know you were afraid of half the things like if you're afraid of commitment if you're afraid of um if you're afraid of failure especially if you're afraid of failure no write that down you're not gonna fail 
you're gonna have to write down positive things like i'm not a, like um okay let's think <laughs> i gotta think of something positive okay um i'm not afraid of failure you should be more like um what was it saying i keep i can't think of the saying it was a saying it was like um you if you go in with the thought of losing you already lost so never even think you're gonna lose there you go something positive like that i'm sure somebody can find something else super positive more positive than that but yeah okay so yeah this is a short video on the uh full moon in virgo thank you guys for tuning in with all natural cam please like subscribe share um check into my fiverr and set some appointments if you want a detailed reading on what to do for this full moon with your exact birth chart but yeah guys it's all natural cam tune in next time see you later